Davin peeps and welcome to another Davin party video. Recently I got the uh, journal tapes from Jane. This was actually not in my box when I first got my supplies but Jane got them to me just recently so I got the chance to have a play with these journal tapes. Now these are the black and white ones. They come in a pack of six I believe or seven. Yep three of these and four of these and these ones have hand little drawn designs on them so they're really fun for you to color in or just use in your journals like so. And then and the other ones are blank. Now, this may be like, oh, why would I want blank tape? Why would I want blank tape? Well, these babies are limitless, basically limitless. And I have been having fun playing with them with watercolors, with embossing powders, creating my own graphic tape. So today I'm going to show you a few ways in which you can alter these journal tapes. And then in my next video, part two, we're going to make some tip-ins using our own tapes basically. So I've had a bit of a play with them and now I thought it was time just to take you through a, diff a few different ways in which you can use these tapes and create your own journal tapes. Basically it means that you can create anything that you want to create. Um, you can I love graphic washi tape. I am addicted to it. I'm always buying graphic prints like spots and uh, black and white stuff like this so I thought it'd be cool to make my own. I also uh, dabbled with the idea of making my own uh, gold embossed tape so we I will show you how I did that using the stencil that comes in your uh, paints. So in the two sets of paints you get the face stencil or you get the mermaid scales and I had a play with the mermaid scales and some gold embossing powder and also a mixture of the uh, mermaid markers and the watercolors. So we're going to have a bit of a play with the tapes today because I think they are an unsung hero. When I saw them um, when she released them, I was like, I want to get my hands on those. And obviously some of the stock didn't come to Australia as quickly as the other US people. So I did wait quite a while for my journal tapes. But now that I have them, I think they're one of the best things, especially if you have, if you want a large washi collection, but you don't want to spend the money, I think these are awesome. It means you can custom color them to your layout. You can use watercolors. I was using fountain pen ink on them. You can stamp on them, paint on them. You can use them in so many different ways. It is literally, like I said, limitless. And I like products that I can get a lot of bang for my buck. And because these are a blank canvas and they're paper, it's basically whatever you can put on paper, you can definitely put on these little tapes as well. Um, so let's get started and I'll show you how I worked on the rainbow washi tape using the stencil and then we'll move on to a couple of different ways. This is literally me just painting on using a document black ink, so waterproof black ink for a fountain pen. I literally dipped my paintbrush in and just started making some graphic lines so that I can use them in my journals, use them in my tip-ins, but that will be our next video and show you how I use them. But something as simple as that, like I love graphic washi tape so I made my own and you can do that and then if you only want a small amount you can just make whatever you need. Like you only want a small piece and you can only just use a small piece instead of buying a whole entire roll. You can have 30 different patterns come from one little roll. So I am totally in love with these. I love that they're paper so it means that a whole heap of mediums can go onto these. They are Awesome. So if you, ha if you haven't gotten your hands on the journal tape, I don't know if these are going to stay stick around or not. So go buy all the things and hoard all the things. That's what I want to say. So let's get started and I will set up and do a voiceover for some of these because I have next door neighbors doing construction and they're con constantly making horrendously loud noises. So the rest of the video will be done sped up with a voiceover purely because the construction is driving me insane. But if you have these tapes and you haven't actually used them yet, get them out of your stash and get ready to make some really funky custom washi tape. 
Now, the best way to work with these tapes is to adhere them down to something. I have quite a heavy clear craft mat that I'm just washi taping the sides so that they're flat, they're easy to use and they don't warp. Um, and taping them down, it makes it a whole lot easier to actually work on them. I tried them on a non-stick craft mat like the Tim Holtz one, but the mat was just too flimsy. So something with a little bit of um, substance, tape that down. So we have some clear embossing powder. This is the Ranger one. It's the one I like to use. We have a makeup sponge to adhere the, um, the to stamp on, like I use that loosely, just to uh, get that embossing ink through the stencil. This is the one that comes in one of the paint packs. I'm not quite sure which one it comes in, um, but I know one has a face and one has the mermaid scales. So there's that. So I did the embossing first because once it's embossed, it creates a resist. So you can paint the whole tape and the embossing won't be affected. It'll just sort of slip off as if like wax crayon with watercolor. Um, so there is what we're gonna do. And what I have done, I'm only gonna do one sheet uh, so uh, I'll hold it here and with the embossing uh, power the ink I am I normally have a different type of sponge but I've run out um, and I just pop it in and press it in really hard to make sure there is some product on there and then I am just pushing that through the stencil there's probably a much more technical way of doing this but I don't know it. This is what I normally do and it's worked before. doesn't give a crystal clear image, but I am not a massive fan of perfection. This is handmade. I want it to look handmade. So that's what we're going with. You can use any stencil you want. I just liked the idea of having mermaid scales with the rainbow effect. Oops. So just go along your merry little way and dab it. You don't have to use the mermaid scale one, but I thought since it came with the paint and most of you should have it, if you've bought the paint, it would be a great way to show you. Now I have my embossing powder inside a tub to make it easier and I've just pressed it in and grabbed it out like that. Not perfect, but I'm still loving how it looks. A little bit messy, a little bit fiddly, but once you've put the watercolor on it, it's totally, totally worth it. Now I've pulled out my Brights palette and I am just creating a rainbow effect using the watercolors. So I'm using all the different shades and just doing a graduating rainbow. Jane's Brights palette is the perfect palette to do the rainbow formation. So I had a blast just adding the colors and letting them mix in together on the tapes. The tape is really awesome and does really grab onto those pigmented watercolors loved it as you can see you can also use your mermaid markers and if you don't want to do the embossing stage now you will need to sort of add a bit of water to these uh, mermaid markers because they need to get moved around with a bit of water you can do some really cool effects with them have a play I think the whole idea of these is so cool. Just need to add some color. You can even mix it in with your watercolors as well. And you don't have to do like the rainbow like I did here. You can mix and match and do all different types of colorways. If you've got other stamps, you can add other stamps into the mix. Um, I just thought the mermaid scales was a really cool one and we're gonna do some other stamping I'm gonna show you things with different colors But the watercolors really, really shine on these paper tapes. They work so, so beautifully. They're so very, very, very vibrant, which is what I love the most, I think, is how vibrant they look. 
and you can just color mix until your heart is content with these. And then you can go in with some stamping, with some black stamping. You can add embossing powder on top of them. You can do a whole heap of stuff. So let's do some graphic prints with some fountain pen ink. So this is a Platinum Mix Free in Cyclamen Pink. It is one of my very favorite inks that I paint with all the time. And I'm just using a paintbrush and literally just painting dashes and stripes. I love graphic prints. They are super easy and super effective to use in your journaling, especially when you're doing collage elements. They just seem to really pull up any sort of thing. So I grabbed my mermaid marker and started doing a crosshatch print. I'm just showing you simple ways to use Use the products with the tape and then when we do the next video you'll get to see these tapes in action because I'm making graphic prints they're great for collage fodder and they're easily like they're just so fuss free so I have grabbed some of my uh, monthly date stamps and I journal in my journal as you guys know so I do like to have dates and things and so I've grabbed the monthly and just use my embossing powder and my clear embossing ink and just created some little tabs for my journal pages sometimes I like to put the months in different ways shapes and forms and I decided to do some gold months for my journal which I will feature later on in next time's video. There's also no reason why you can't get out your incredible pen, have it filled up with ink and just play with your pen. You can doodle, you can do lots of things. Know that if you have a very inky ink in there, it will spread a little bit so it's not going to be as pristine as you would like it to be. But it still creates some really cool patterning on there and you can have a blast. I've actually got Robert Oster's Black Swan in my incredible pen at the moment. And I really enjoy just doodling in different colored inks. Jane offers so many alternatives and there are so many fountain pen inks that you can put into your incredible pen. It is literally limitless and I love sketching it with a fountain pen. So I like to create custom doodle tapes. This is probably my favorite out of all the ones that I did and it was super, super simple. I love line work so I could sit there and create a stack of lined washi tapes that I could just use in my journal and they don't have to be perfect because they're going to get ripped up and torn and used in such a way that it won't matter if they're perfect and I just kept the design going and then I grabbed my brights palette again and because fountain pen ink 90% of the time is not waterproof there will be a little bit of bleeding but it's all in that sort of homemade effect look like I said totally my favorite one and it is probably the most uh, quirky weird non-perfect tape that we've done I've just grabbed my palette and used buzzy around the outside I'm on a real red and yellow kick at the moment and I kind of like that it looks like a plate an old school plate pattern or something like that but I'm gonna have a blast using this one in my journal for sure so I've grabbed a bottle of document ink this is the Diatrementis document ink which means it's black and it's waterproof and I am just making graphic patterns these are some of my favorite things to use in my journal they are simple anyone can do these and then anyone can then recreate them for themselves and use them in their journals. Everything I try and show you, it requires next to no skill level and is just a really fun process and a great way to jazz up any part. So I have colored this bit of tape with yellow tape, uh, not yellow tape, yellow watercolor, buzzy again. And I've grabbed one of my uh, stamps that I got in a subscription box and just used a neon pink stamp pad just to stamp randomly. And that will create a texture for a tip in later on. Now, obviously, there are many, many, many ways in which you can alter these tapes. You can do anything. You can add paint to them. You can use your jelly plates, your stencils, your stamps, your mermaid markers, your watercolors. I would be here for days showing you different ways in which you can alter these tapes because they're paper, anything you can put onto paper and they do have a sticky back, you just have to remove that but I am going to show you in our next video 
playing around and making creative tip-ins and using these in our journals. So I hope you've enjoyed this portion of the video and in our next video we'll obviously do some journal fodder tip-ins and that sort of thing. So if you haven't got your hands on the journal tape, I highly recommend it. I have had a blast creating all the different types of tapes and they will get used all throughout my journals in different ways, shapes and forms and I will show you a couple of tip in ideas I'll show you how I use them on my morning pages um, lots of different ways to use these tapes but that will be for my next video so get creating get some journal tapes happening and I'll see you in the next video for a journal tip in palooza so take care Davin peeps and I can't wait to see the tapes that you guys create with the Jane Davenport journal tapes